Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. I hope you guys don't mind, a uh, little bit of a mathematic nerd, uh, venting for just a moment. It's about something very minor that I keep coming across that actually, honestly, every time I see, bugs the crap out of me. So like I said before, I am a very big mathematic type nerd. I'm one of those few people in the world who you'll come across who actually likes the topic mathematics. Um, did I enjoyed algebra when I was doing it. Um, geometry, I enjoyed, um, you know what, name the topic, I probably enjoyed it, or I probably would enjoy it. That being said, I'm going to get to the tangent that I was saying I was going to go down. Recently, I was looking online at a couple different, like, can you solve this kind of things, and they are, like, the mo like ridiculously easy, probably intentionally, quite frankly, ridiculously easy um, mathematical problems. For people like me, at least. And I mean problems like 2 plus A equals B. If B is 5, what is A? 3. Duh. Now that's the even simpler version of what I'm talking about. The problem that, the mathematical problem I was looking at, which I actually still have rung up, so it's an image that says, can you solve it? It shows four different problems, the fourth one having a question mark, basically, what is the answer kind of thing. A plus A equals 2. A plus B equals 3. A plus B plus C equals 6. A plus B plus C times 4 equals what? I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to look at the answers, and I'm just going to solve it. 15. Like, it didn't even take me that long. That's literally how long I just went from gonna solve it to solved it. That's literally how long it took me to solve it there. Now, once again, I'm really, really, really good at math, so the fact that it came to me that fast isn't a surprise. But honestly, that's how it should come to most people, because it's not that hard. PEMDAS or BEDMAS, depending on where you're from. Now, there is a slight difference between the two, and I actually did bring this up in the comment that I put on the um, post which I will get to the rest of why I commented and I'm venting about this in the first place in just a moment. Let's go to bed mass first. Bracket, exponent, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but if I understand correctly, this is how it's taught, um, like in Europe or in, like, it, like I, I believe in Europe. I, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know in America it's PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, which parentheses instead of bracket and just swap the D and the M. That's really literally the only difference, but they both mean the exact same thing. And quite frankly, parentheses, brackets, it's literally the same thing, just instead of this, it's this, or the other way around. And instead of having multiplication first or division first, it's swapped. But quite frankly, you could have it either way around. You just, multiplication or division has to come before addition and subtraction one way or the other. It doesn't matter which you do first otherwise. Um, but regardless, the thing that I'm venting about here is that so many people don't pay attention to this. Keep in mind, I do understand that given a certain amount of time ago, this method did not exist. PEMDAS, BEDMAS, wasn't a thing, if you rewind far back enough. From what I understand it, I believe it was around the 50s where these weren't a thing, at least. Or at least PEMDAS wasn't. Maybe BEDMAS was more of a thing then. If not, then neither of them were. I believe this is something my grandfather told me, actually, who... He was born in the 30s, I believe. 30s or 40s. My brain is half out of it right now, but 
not to the degree of what I'm trying to talk about. People like that who didn't learn from these methods, I completely get it. Cool. That's fine. Sure. Then I can understand why they would not solve this problem correctly. But here's the issue that I have. So many people, they'll consider the bracket or parentheses, but then not consider the rest of the stuff. Like, they'll show that they know about Bedmas or PEMDAS. But once they see the first bit of it fail, the rest of it's just void to them. So they'll just go from left to right of the equation going, okay, one, two, three, four, like reading a book or a comic strip or something like that. Just move left to right, regardless of what's in the way. Because of this, so many people answered this question as 24. A being 1, B being 2, C being 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. No! But apparently it doesn't matter. It does matter to me, though. Honestly, it bugs me when people do this. I'm the kind of person, let's put it, the reason for this is I'm that kind of person, when I was a student, I would, like, go to bed, and when I couldn't sleep, I would literally do math problems to put me to sleep. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> That's actually what I did. If I wasn't reading a book, I was doing math. Simple math, in my eyes, but math nonetheless. This, it's not the extreme basics. It's not what's considered basics where it's like, what's 1 plus 1? 2. What's 2 plus 2? 4. What's 2 times 4? 8. Like, no. Sure, fine. That, those are the basic of basics. When you put them together and then replace the numbers with letters, well, that's where you kind of... That's not the basics, but it's like literally right next door to it. If you can't figure that out, then... Well... There's some, there's some things my my math brain wants to say that would make sense with, and it's not swearing or anything like that or cursing anyone out or calling something bad things. It's just you need to relearn. Let's put it that way. If you can't figure something as simple as that out, go look it up, relearn it, or for heaven's sake, nowadays use a freaking calculator. Like that's another thing I don't understand about this post. This post was put up. As of this recording, a little less than a month ago. And by the time this upload is being shown, by the time you guys see this, a little over a month. September 23rd, 2021 is when this post was made. And I see so many different people saying it's 24. I'm like, is this really how stupid people are? It's not even a hard problem. It's not like they're putting... Um, extremely complicated college terms into the mathematical problem. It's literally plus and multiply. Which one comes first? Duh! Multiplication. Multiplication and division, or vice versa, always comes before addition and subtraction, or vice versa. What I mean by that is multiplication and division always comes before addition and subtraction. Or, division and multiplication comes before subtraction and addition. Well, you get the point. Any variant of that. But no, the, the gripe that I have is so many people subside this. Yes, I get nobody likes math and everybody wants to go, oh, it means nothing to the world. First of all, my dad can prove that wrong. He's an accountant. He needs to know this stuff. Plus more. He deals with this stuff. Of course he needs to know numbers. And how to, you know, multiply, how to add, blah, blah, blah. Duh. There are several jobs that need this as well. Even several jobs that I've had. You find technology does do some of it, but what if that technology doesn't work? Then what? You're just going to wait for it to reboot? Wait till the... Oh, it's the end of my shift. I've been waiting six hours and it never worked. Okay, bye, guys. That's stupid, if anybody would think that. I know some people probably have, 
if it's not stupid, it's at least lazy. Which is not good. Math is more important than a lot of people think. And that's kind of where my mind went after griping about this kind of thing in my own head for who knows how long. And yet it was longer than the 10 minutes that I've been ranting about it now. Math is more important in reality than a lot of people like to believe. Several people are just like, why am I learning this stuff? It's not beneficial to my future at all. Yeah, maybe if you're a sports player. Or someone who does... No, not even that. Sports player, if you were to do other stuff, it doesn't matter. Regardless of what you do, it can be considered important. How about bank accounts? Well, you're just going to let it sit there and let the bankers go, Oh, no, if, if I get lower, they'll let me know. Oh, if I'm at this point, and eh, they, they can do the math for me. I'll ask them what's going to happen. No. Sorry, but that's not how it works. <sighs> I could go on a tangent about this for so freaking long. The problem with this kind of thing is more just that... <sighs> If people are going to say stuff like this, and this is what bothers me, not just as someone who likes math a lot, but as someone who hates seeing what I consider false facts, if you're going to state something on something like that, make sure it's true. Again, like that post... The, the actual answer is 15, according to PEMDAS, or BEM. According to PEDMAS, and, or BEMDAS, or PEMDAS, or BEMDAS, I don't know. You get the point, BEMDAS. Regardless, whichever of those four you follow, according to any of those, it's 15. Those are a teacher's way, and an actual mathematician's way, if that's what you want to call it. For those people who don't care, but attempt it anyway, without showcasing how they actually did it and how it's truly done, and then just throw willy-nilly the answer, I've noticed one thing. There's a lot of backlash. Unincluding myself, there's still a lot of backlash towards those who just give an answer without thinking through the reality of said answer. Again, these people are usually, like, for that for that problem, for example, left to right, they solve it like that. They don't go throughout the problem and say, okay, these parts are multiplication. Oh, there's parentheses and brackets there. Uh, wait, there's an exponent right over there. They just go, okay, let's go to left to right. Whatever we come up with, that's the answer. This isn't a book, guys. <laughs> Math is not just a book. I'm sure you'd all love it to be, but it's not. Yeah, who am I kidding? No one, if, if people, if people, if a lot of the world had their way, math would not exist at all. But if a lot of the world had their way, might as well be post-apocalypse at this point. I don't know. When it comes to this kind of stuff, it's just... <sighs> I could go on a rant about how dumb people act when it comes to math, or how much people don't consider stuff like that overall. As someone who enjoyed math in high school a lot, like, I didn't do the best. I didn't do the best I could, when, like, because I got really lazy later on in the years. At first, I did really well, but... Let's just say the mental state school can put you in, depending on the circumstance, can catch up, even if you can hide it really well. Um, can catch up and eventually, you know, makes you much more lazy than you originally would have anticipated yourself being, which is what ended up happening to me. Later on, I kind of showcased this to be true, too, because I ended up doing some college classes um, and passed... A's or B's. Never had been anything less. That's because I got back in the mindset you know, that ma of that math kid who actually liked school. 
But then again, then, then this mind crosses things like that. And it's not just math either. Mainly it's math because that's the one people care the least about. But history. That's one that I can say I never really care much for. That gets a lot of backlash. I know because I've gotten backlash. And I can respect that now because I care more about it now than I used to. I will say that. My history talk playlist should give that away big time. What about the language arts? Spanish. Latin. Japanese. Deutsch. Sorry, German. <laughs> Stuff like that. People don't put a lot of effort into those because they think it's not beneficial. For many people, if you were to traverse the world prior to or long after the events that have been going on as of late, as of this recording, and as of the past year prior to this recording, any time before that or any time long after that, once travel becomes its normal thing again, well, what? You're just going to expect others to just, be, just to be able to understand you? Come on. Yeah, we're going to go to France and we don't know any French at all. They'll, they'll understand just fine. No. <sighs> I don't know. This is like the student with me just griping about the fact that no one seems to care about any of these kind of things. Or at least it feels like it. Not gonna lie, it does feel like it. Doesn't particularly mean it's true. <sighs> but how much it feels like it is kind of sad. I mean, sure, as I said before, the one that gets the most hate is mathematics, which is the one that I love. I've got very contradictive feelings compared to a lot of other people. I'm like polar opposite of most. Most people actually like bits of history. Throw me at history and I'd be like, back away, back away, back away. Uh, people get thrown in front of meth and they're like, uh, uh, and I'll be like, oh, another problem. Because I like problem solving. Oh well. Mm. Like, situations like that. And it just, it upsets me to see that kind of stuff just because of the fact that I mean I will say this I, I know I stopped mid-sentence there but I will say this I will spare those who like went into like for the again back to the post that I was talking about earlier for those who went into the um comments on that post, which I did see a few people do this, and it actually explained there's none of, like, brackets or parentheses, so I did this, and then they actually explained what they did. Those people, they get a freebie. They get a pass, because at least they're explaining their mindset, and it's much easier to just go, oh, I think you just forgot the fact that, because who knows? Those kind of people are usually the type of people who just forget, oh, right, I have to do this first. That's fine. People who do stuff like that, you can tell when they're like that. But people who just throw a number out without explaining anything, that's when you're like, you're not even trying. Unless it's the correct answer. In that case, they're just smart. They're just stupidly smart. Or they're copying from other people. You never know. But for those who actually throw in the wrong answer and only the number that, or only the answer, if it, like if it's history or if it's... Um, I don't know, facts of random different other topics like physics or biology. Um, that's where it's like, you're not trying. You're just giving in, looking up on Wikipedia, the most least reliable site on the planet nowadays, and just throwing in that one answer that randomly pops up. That's when you can kind of tell, yeah, they're not trying. Yeah, they don't care. If you don't care or you're not trying, at least admit it. Like, there are some, like, these, those kind of people also get passes, in my opinion. In that post, there were also comments that said, I don't care, so I'm not going to answer. Good for you guys. You're at least willing to admit it. 
those kind of people I can apply. And for me, like when I get, like the posts, the the response that I put in was like this lengthy paragraph, basically going, "Look, it's sad." how people are just putting 24 even though that's the wrong answer and they're not considering the factors the actual true factors of the matter and it, it, i don't blame those who kind of critique them not criticized i don't i don't condone criticism unless it's the proper type which i don't see very much of nowadays critiquing sure that's kind of the proper type in my opinion that's what i'm using the word for the proper type there was very few people who were in that comment section of that post of the thousands of people who were there who actually did do that. Uh, outside of me, there was two that I found. And I read a lot of the comments. <sighs> One way or the other, though, yeah, I, I don't know. I've been going off on a 20-minute tangent now, uh, 21-minute, actually, tangent on how much I really just don't like when people abuse good learning circumstances I guess yeah this this math kid needed to go on a tangent I guess so for those who stuck around for this video thanks uh, if you agreed with what I said or you liked this video in general make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore if you really liked it consider subscribing to the channel have a suggestion for um, anything you'd like me to talk about on here, whether it's a rant about some kind of situation going on, as long as it's not politics or religion. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, or if you want to check out any others that I've already done, click the link on this side, or this side of my head, I forgot I rearranged this a little bit. Or if that doesn't suit your fancy and you want to check out something you may like on this channel, how about check out the other side? Um, or if neither of those really fit what you think you might like, why not check the channel itself out manually, where there will be a link right there and in the description below. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.